Hello, hello, hello. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to my channel. It's Tabitha here, and I am bringing you guys a tutorial on how I apply my 99 cents eBay lashes. This is how the lashes look, you guys, up close. They do come in a set of five. I have a direct link to these lashes from eBay in the description bar. So if you guys are interested, make sure you guys click that. Again, only 99 cents a pack free shipping you guys you cannot beat that so i definitely want to give a shout out to shani here on youtube that's my makeup room diva she left the direct link also platinum d she has a, a direct link in her channel as well so without further ado you guys we're going to go into what you're going to need to apply your lashes so the first thing you guys are going to need is a tweezer of some sort this particular tweezers you guys it came in a set of four at or from the dollar tree i should say now I saw Negative Free use this on her channel. So shout out to Negative Free. She's awesome. Make sure you guys check her out. She always has inexpensive makeup looks. And she's always trying uh, unconventional things, if that's the right word, on um, doing makeup and applying makeup. So I really appreciate that about her channel. But this has been an effective tool for me. But if you don't have this particular one, any tweezers will, will work. The next thing you're going to need is the duo glue. Now I find that the darker glue, the dark tone glue works the best. And again, it's going to dry black as well. Another thing you're going to need, you guys, is an eyeliner crayon. And that's so you can tight line and make your lashes look more realistic. This compact has a mirror in it, so you're going to need a mirror of some sort. This is really not a necessity, but I find it... Uh, easier to apply when I'm using a mirror and I'll show you guys how I use the mirror and for the sake of the video you guys I already applied eyeliner and mascara because again this is, these are some tools that are going to help you make your eyelashes blend in with the falsies so the eyeliner I've been using lately is the NYC liquid eyeliner and I do have the super sizer cover girl I put these on my natural lashes this is what the lashes look like after they've been taken out of the package. Um, I have been able to get at least three or four wears out of the lashes before I decide personally myself that I, it's time for them. It's time for me to throw them away, basically. The lashes were a little bit too long for me, so as you guys can see, on on the left hand side here, this is the inner part of the lash, and this is the outer part. So if your lashes are too long, you always want to measure before and your lashes. All you have to do is literally when you take it out of the package, just set it, just set it on, you know, your lashes like that. And then you can trim according to your eye. When you are trimming your lashes, you always want to trim from the outside. And again, that's going to, doing that is going to make sure that you keep that natural curve. If you guys see the curve of the lashes that's going to keep the natural curve when you go in from the end uh you're not gonna you're gonna lose the curve and the flare the natural flare of the lashes so cut a little little by little from the end and then you know that way you'll be able to have the lashes fit your eye to take the end of my tweezers here and i'm going to put the duo glue at the end of the tweezer so you have your lash and then you just want to put it on the band, the glue. And you want to put a little bit more on the ends because I notice when I apply lashes, the ends seem to be the area that lifts up the most. So if your lash looks something like this after you have applied the glue, you want to give it about 40 seconds, literally 40 seconds. And then you will notice it will start to get tacky. When it gets tacky, that's when you want to apply the lashes. So this is the glue has got tacky. You want to hold them with your tweezers and you want to hold it in the middle because when you're applying the lashes, you're going to put them in the center of your eye. I'm going to have my mirror compact and what I'm doing is I'm going to be looking down and applying the lash directly on my eye. So I'm going to be looking down. And then you want to drop it just like that and then this part is when you just start adjusting it to your lash line look just like that you guys so now at this point is when you want to adjust it if you can 
like if you need to move it over you should be able to move it over slightly I don't like my lashes all the way in because my eyes get watery okay you guys so it should look something like that this is a, the next step is another reason why I really like these tweezers so what you're gonna do now is you're gonna press the falsies with your natural lashes and again that's just gonna help blend them so this part you really need a steady eye so get your blinks out and everything so you're literally just pressing them together just like that see I have to stop because I had to blink sometimes I gotta stop well, I'm not perfect at this either Woo, see I ain't even going to edit this out just so you guys can see. So next what you're going to do is you're going to apply your mascara and you guys know I have chosen this one, the CoverGirl Super Sizer. I really really like this mascara. I'm going to add some more of my eyeliner because sometimes when you put on your falsies your, your eyeliner can get messed up so I'm going to go ahead and do that. That is that is also the eyeliner also helps hide the band and to tight line. You don't really have to do this, but I like how it looks, and I feel like it. And like I said, another way to just blend it. So, so you're going up. Oops, see, you got to blink. Get your blinks out. So you're going like underneath. And again, you guys, you don't have to do this step. So as you guys can see, I added the lash to this eye. And I wanted to show you guys the difference between this eye and this eye. So I literally just put the lash on this eye. I haven't uh, put mascara, eyeliner, or anything on. So you guys can really see the difference that eyeliner, mascara, tight lining, all of that makes. So I'm going to do that to this eye and then come right back. Guys, so that is the end result. This one is a little bit more clumpy, but again... Um, this lash was already messed up because again this is probably like the third or fourth time I've worn these particular lashes but I hope you guys get the gist I wanted to basically keep it real with you guys this is my last I'm on my last leg with these lashes and then I'll grab a new pair off the set so yeah you guys that was my eyelash tutorial I hope that it was informative I hope that I did the best that I could showing you guys how I apply them and give this technique a try you guys again even if you don't have this particular lashes you should definitely try to find that set at the Dollar Tree because I really like these I think it makes it so much easier but I know a lot of us just have the typical the standard type of tweezers but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching I truly appreciate you guys and I will check you guys out in the next video Bye. Yellow morning, I dream it